What up, this is John Shibu, IBS Kelso coming back with another MX Bikes banger. Now, before you adjust your phone, Brighton, this will change your monitor settings. Yes, I am black and we're playing a dirt bike game. Now, I'm here at round two of San Diego of the aerial season of 2023. I got my boy Murph in here. Go ahead and say what's up. What's up, what's up? Yeah, I felt like um, Mur Murph has helped me out a lot. He gave me a Kawasaki setup and he also kind of just gave me a couple pointers. Um, I think the only thing I changed up on his setup was the 1353 he ran to a 1250 i think i just like that sprocket a lot um you already had the rod length already up but so far i'm enjoying it and uh yeah i just have him here because i think i my hardest thing was going through the whoops and i think my setup was having a very rough time through there and he kind of helped me out a lot with my rebound preload so yeah like as before on round one we're just gonna go through here run a couple laps run some raw stuff just see how our progress goes and yeah murph take it away just a little bit man explain your little what you've been working yeah, so on I, so i just um been working on like suspension for a little bit on this game <laughs> um just like kelso i'm new to supercross but i do do motocross setups all the time um i will say the most important thing after like learning from people um pros that play this game and being in lobbies is just making sure like in the whoops to make sure your front wheel hits the first whoop and carrying that speed with you all the way across so that's just something that i've been working on but i know set setup's a huge part of supercross and making sure that last trap part of the travel is not like compressing all the way so that would be your preload and everything um preload and then getting the grip uh, as Kelso was saying with the rod length it really helps immensely so yeah I'm just helping my boy out Kelso a little Type bit John, you know <laughs> and like I said like you know there's only so much you can help out you know until it comes to uh I should say like talent you know and and at that, at that point it's just like you know we can give you the best setup in the world but if you don't know how to run supercross you know it's just it does it just doesn't matter at that point so I think right now I felt like a super like my setup was really hindering me but now it's just like at the same time i'm just working on consistency and i just want everybody to know you know all these all these tracks are completely different every supercross is completely different you're gonna have a different you know layout and um i'm not looking to try to run as good as i ran on uh anaheim one but i'm also not trying to run super bad so my biggest thing is just be able to upgrade myself every time and at least try to use a little bit better i mean not use but i should say uh work a little bit better and get my time down because i think anaheim one i got down maybe two seconds i was at like a 106 then i went down on 104 that was a w to me I, I put down two different seconds seconds so i think the biggest thing is just like my whoops my whoop speed and being able to get through the whoops and then obviously you can see san diego is just a little bit more tougher and i gotta understand i feel like a little bit more practice here um, and getting through some of the sections because I really don't know the rhythm too much, but hey, we're gonna get her done But I do appreciate Murph a lot. He's been around and he's been very helpful um, Just a good 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 all-around guy. Go ahead and hype that man. Thank you. Yeah, hi hype him <laughs> up and get a little smile on him, man But you know, hey, that, I'm always smiling in yeah, your videos. Yeah, tight job, man, <laughs> you know But yeah, that's, that's just all we do around here, man I just want to see everybody win and I appreciate that like commonwealth to be brought back to me and I never have a problem with anybody ever like winning in my corner. Now I will say I low key am run. He's running a 110 medium on the back and a mid soft in the front. This is a mid soft 90, right? Uh, yeah. I won't. I won't say that I don't like it, or I say I don't like. I think my biggest thing is trying to hit, trying to hit this uh, rhythm section in the back. I'm having a hard time clearing, and I feel like I either don't have enough traction, or I'm just not hitting it correctly. But. I don't know i might have to do halfway through this video just try the 120 and then a regular medium 90 and just see if that's like what that was the actual problem and i will say that back triple at the end of the rhythm mm -hmm. um last year in the supercross events the 250 pro guys had to scrub the absolute crap out of that <laughs> okay they can make it. yeah no 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 I think that's my biggest thing, a scrub. I feel like I feel like I got a whip down packed, but like scrubbing, dude, like I feel like I just still don't understand the actual term or definition and or I need to see it visually to understand what the heck that means, you know? So with a scrub, 
with I what I know it. is on Supercross, you don't want to be too crazy with side to side action. Yeah, everyone loves it. It looks sick. So it's not side to side. It's it's up and down. It's so when you're going off the top of the lip of a jump, you sit down so it can press like because MX bikes physics works differently than in real life. <laughs> but um, so basically, when you sit down, it makes your momentum forward and it makes your bike go closer to the other jumps, but you're still clearing the jump. Okay. That's what scrubbing is on this game. So it's do really you want to flick? You want to flick forward or do you want to flick backwards on that? So you're going off the jump right at the top. You want to lean forward and sit down. Lean forward and sit down. Yep. Ooh, perfect, perfect run through the whoops. Let's go. Look at you go. I know. I'm trying, dude. I feel like I feel like I got all the way through, and then I lose a lot of momentum towards the end. Probably the second to last. Mhm. Mm and that's probably where it's like, uh, yeah, dead. But I'm gonna hey, have to definitely I'll, do that. I'll be but, honest with you. I'm loving this 1250. I think it might be the move. Dude, I'm telling you, it's, it's a different vibe, man. That and the rod length. Like, nobody understands that. A lot of people think the rod length is what makes you not be able to turn, but it has, mm -hmm. it does not affect your, your turning at all. It literally just, like, does more torque to the back wheel. So, I can't thank you enough, man. You actually upgraded my... You upgraded my Supercross experience. <laughs> hey, you upgraded my Supercross experience slash, like, upgraded my setup, and I feel like right now it's just all it is, just learning the track more and keeping the consistency. Yeah, of course. I mean, hey, all it is is practice. Like, yeah. Practice every day. Hey, easy peasy. So that's just, I mean, yeah, I mean, I do. I think I don't, I think I don't put as much time as I think I should. Oh, let's go. Another <laughs> freaking W freaking run. I don't think I put as much time as I think I should in practice for this. Cause you know, obviously trying to create content and, and stream and all that. And I think that's what does hinder me. I think I said that in the first video, um, just, you know, streaming all that and especially the non-paid tracks and that everybody having. So it's like I can't give as much time as I want to, which is okay. Like, I'm not mad about it. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. Ooh. So Ooh, what's your ready? technique you're doing through the, the whoops right now? So I pull forward. Yeah. Then I, oh, I pull forward, then I pull <laughs> kind of back. And then as I'm starting to slow down. Like I'm uh -huh. trying to go, I'm trying to go third to fourth, and then as I slow down, I try to downshift the gear and then go back pulling forward, and then sometimes oh. it works, sometimes it just kind of honestly endos me. But I think it's, <laughs> I think it's just the the way of the freaking way of the water at that point. Hey, and that's the hugest thing, like just getting that muscle memory, knowing what you're doing. Yeah. Sure. So you wanna you wanna scrub when you're gonna OJ or you think you're gonna OJ or. Um, yeah, so if you think you're going to OJ, um, actually in one of your videos, I think Ando was talking about it. Probably. Yeah, the seat bounce, right? Um, it's like about yeah, the seat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just like he yeah. said, you got to spam it. Yeah, um, and I, I just feel like I just don't, I feel like over time, I just don't know what he means, like when the exact proper moment, but it's going to click in my head one day where it's like, oh my God, I need to do that. And it's like, oh, okay, cool. Like I've got it down packed. But yeah, for now, it's just like, bro, what is he talking about? Yeah. <laughs> so you only have to hit it once. Um, <laughs> it's just he's just talking about like, say you're going to come really like. Not, you're not going fast enough for a jump um, and you're trying to hit a triple. OK. At the middle of your peak, you want to sit down so it brings your bike up to you. So the difference between sitting down at like peak level and then like sitting down on the face of a jump sitting down on the face of a jump is going to bring you down but when you sit down for some reason in the air on a mouse bikes it brings the bike up to you i don't know how else to explain it it no, is I, weird i i I, fi I feel like i figured that out completely because i see it happening i just don't know when to use it it's almost like you know you know the ability but it's like when's the when's the right time to use that ability you know when's the right yeah. time to use that perk it's almost like playing like any like I guess like Overwatch game or, or, or COD game, it's like you got a special ability. It's like, but when's like the right strategic time to use it, you know? You know what it yeah. does, but you don't know when like, you know, the right time is to actually use it. So I think that's the biggest thing of me like having to learn and understand. All right, sorry for the little cut. I just wanted to change to a 90. 
to a uh, medium 90 to a 120 in the back and I just wanted to see how that would go but um yeah I think my biggest thing is I, I think I have the whoops pretty okay right now it's this back rhythm section that I'm not understanding what are you doing triple in oh I messed it up yeah me too <laughs> Welcome yeah, to the you story got, of my life. You gotta really rail that outside. Really? And, um, kind of like, you gotta like lean all the way forward around it, and it just shoots you in the air. And what, my and once, a, once again, you wanna, you're doing, you're doing a, you're doing a, tr uh, a triple and triple? Like, three triples, or in a single um, out, or? So I actually started, I couldn't, I can't figure out the second triple, so I started doing, um, triple, and then over the, uh, tabletop and then hmm. triple out okay say that one more time okay um, <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> so I actually started doing uh, triple on the backside and then um, a double over the tabletop and triple out okay and that, that gives you probably... that gives you enough momentum yeah the first triple if you hit it correctly you get crazy momentum you're doing triple here. See, I, I just saw you do it. That was a, that was the scrub you're talking about, right? That was the scrub. Yeah. So okay. I scrubbed a little too hard. See how you, like you don't move your back wheel like to the right or left. Yeah, it's more of your front, right? Yeah, it's all about the front. Whoever this uh, husky rider is, he's rip. Oh, it's Ocean. Yeah, Ocean's or on J -Dub. top, dude. Dude, he is. He's fast. I'm be always on freaking Halloween SX, showing my freaking, showing me up, like, <laughs> help me, he? dude. I'm telling you, every time I run Halloween SX, bro, the guy's on that game mode. <laughs> yeah, he's top tier, bro, for sure. Go fourth gear through here, pull back, pull back, lean forward as I got a little squirrely. I think my biggest thing is like I can never stay straight. Never stay Aww. straight for for like either whoops wise like I either don't enter straight and or like mm -hmm. when I'm turning I either go I either turn too much for some reason and then that right there I felt like I I was giving it too much power and I let off and I gave it under power. So what direct lean do you use for Supercross? I use fifty. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I think I think it's just literally muscle memory at this point. And right there, I just oversent. So I should, probably should have brake tapped or I should have scrubbed, but like that that's once again like knowing the ability, but I don't know when to use it, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I just actually hit that. Um it's also you can do a triple double double triple. Okay. It's weird, but <laughs> And then this other sense. side, what are you doing? Just singling out? Like there's really nothing you can do, right? Um you can do double double. Yeah, single, single, right? Yeah. Or you could do double, triple. Oh, well, that's a lot of power that I don't think I have. It is super hard, but um, do you know the concept of, like... I, I was just learning this, actually. So when you're going to land a jump, if you sit down to suck, like, the most of, like, the bobo bounces out, mm -hmm. so, like, right as you land, you kind of sit down. It gives you a little bump of uh, speed. Really? Yeah. That's such a shallow triple, dude. I do it every time. Oh dude, man, yeah. I'm so I sorry. Oh my though. god, I'm so sorry. But, I mean, hey, we're all learning. <laughs> yeah. I think I think that's the biggest thing out of these videos is like I don't I don't expect nobody to watch it and be like, man, like I'm glad you suck or like want to expect any more out of me my biggest thing is like i just want to see my own progress i want to go back on this to where when i'm like at like round 15 or 17 or so or like all the way up there it's like man okay i can see how i started to like how i'm finishing and that's the mm -hmm. biggest thing is what i'm trying to start here like i'm not trying to get as much insight and information i can throughout all these times and just see myself progress more and more because i know every track is different and like there's always a new obstacle for me to for me to tackle i just want to be able to see yeah. myself feel like i've i've improved you know and worked on my setup and right there that was the best yeah, I had third gear fully pinned back oh my god mm -hmm. best whoops best whoops ever that's awesome good stuff so um you know that section after the long um rhythm section yeah so 
what I want you to do this next lap is double into the first one and then as soon as you land sit down push forward on your right or lean and give it full throttle and right or lean is your right stick triple. right yep okay hold on I gotta, I gotta I gotta I gotta understand what you're saying this this back this back section right are you talking are you asking for this back section or the other one uh, oh yeah oh, okay I know what you're talking about now this yep. one right here yep right there just full yep okay I see bounced it nice I'm on head game mode, yeah. I doubled, yeah, I doubled, I yeah. doubled, triple, doubled out. That was actually really sick. And I see yep. that, see that time right there, I understood. Okay, that's seat bounce, you know? Mm hmm. All right, third gear. I'm getting, I don't know where the sideways is coming from right there. I really don't. I'm actually getting weird bounces on these now. I don't know if it's. I mean, I'm eight seconds off the pace, and I feel like J, J and Bam are running really mm -hmm. great time. So I mean, oh yeah, yeah, they're they're definitely running good times. I mean, eight seconds is really not that bad. No, I mean, I'll take it. Like, I'm not mad at my progress, and I'm chilling with this. I, I feel like I've learned a thing or two for sure, and I feel like the next time I come through here. For sure, we'll be we'll, we'll be chicken, and I'll give yeah, it a go. Sure. You know, so now now it's just like okay, cool. Like, and then maybe maybe you never know. Like next time we come through, or like here's another track that we're gonna have to do. It's like maybe mm -hmm. I have to tweak a little bit of of my setup then. And I feel like a lot of people don't understand that, and I feel like I don't even understand that to where like every track is different, every whoop section is different. It's like maybe you gotta tweak just a bit. So. Oh yeah. There's not a fixed bike for every track. Yeah not like reflex or something yeah which reflex oh i love reflex but yeah <laughs> shoot well hey man i appreciate you bro this is this is literally all i got man it's an easy peasy 20 minute video and i really thank you so much for your insight and setup and guys if you guys want to go check out murph his youtube will be down in the description below and his discord um so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and um yeah murph if you know anything about that you know we'll catch you in the next episode type john it's your boy IBS Kelso sure. and Murph, so we'll catch you in the next one. Pa 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 peace. peace.